What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Peterville Farm. Today we're going to talk about the essentials of starting a new map using animals. So we're talking about grass, forage, that kind of thing, as well as ways to pick up straw, hay, grass, silage, making silage, and what vehicles and equipment is going to be best for that. Generally, this is going to work on console and on PC, so whatever you're using. We are going to be using government subsidy signs today to help us out. Then we're going to be leasing equipment when it's all said and done to get rid of all that extra money that we don't need because we don't need to start with billions of dollars. Again, this is going to be focusing on animals and crops using this map, Peterville Farm, as a baseline because there are built-in animals and good-sized fields which you can use uh, workers with or not. There are plenty of fields for everybody. Also, we're gonna be using new farmer mode today because it is the easiest. This can be done in farm manager and start from scratch as well, but generally players that are using those wanna give themselves a little bit more of a challenge. So you can alter this in any way, shape or form to fit your needs and to fit the way that you wanna do this. Also, we will not be using seasons today. Only mods available to all platforms and mods that are available right now at the time of recording will be considered. Let's check it out. So here we are on Peterville Farm. I've chosen Peterville for a couple different reasons, but one of the main reasons was because every animal is built into the farm and each of them has their own area. So cows have their own area, chickens have their own area, pigs, sheep, and of course, horses. Horses are on this map as well. We've got a great riding area. This is an amazing farm, well put together. Uh, it's just incredible. I love, love, love Peterville. We did quite a few episodes on Peterville and I had a blast. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings and double check and make sure that everything is good to go. We're just going to go to our game settings first. We're going to set time to real time because we're trying to slow everything down as much as possible. Game difficulty, normal, easy, hard, whatever you want. I'd like to start off with easy just to kind of get yourself eased in through. So maybe through the first harvest you get on easy mode. Turn traffic off because it makes getting things from point A to point B a whole lot easier. Dirt, I like fast dirt. Automatic engine start is a pain to me, so I like turning that off, as well as taking fuel usage to default, which is high, and then all the refills I like to do. Well, there we go. Actually, we turned those off completely. Plant growth fast, plant withering off, crop destruction on, periodic plowing on, lime required on, weeds on, and then auto save turned off save the game now we're ready to go first things first let's get rid of everything so again we're going to be coming through we're going to be doing a five vehicle setup the five vehicle setup is going to be a little bit different than the one from crops because we're not going to use a semi truck we're going to be using a telehandler we're going to be using something to get around the farm and to help tend to our animals a little bit more than one thing over there and a semi truck's just not going to do it plus we're not trying to sell lots of stuff at one time well and i'll show you why so we've got seven hundred and fifty two thousand dollars right now total what we're going to do now is we are going to go in we're going to find our government signs which are going to be a placeable as miscellaneous we're going to place down a couple of them i don't think we need too many of them uh let's see 1500 so we get maybe put down eight i think eight will be enough and that's going to more than pay for everything that we need to do uh, we have done a lot of different stuff the last video if, with the crops. We did a lot of stuff with uh, uh, John Deere and we did stuff with Case. With this one, I'm going to show you a couple different setups. Um, you can either do like a cloth setup. If you don't have the Platinum DLC, there's a couple other ways you could do it as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight will be good. You know what? Let's just put down ten just to make sure. Now that we've got all that placed in, we are going to fast forward time just a little bit to get through this first hour to get us over to 9 a.m. in game. The least amount of time we can waste, the better, because what will happen is we'll kind of get a little bit too far into the day and we won't be able to plant the things that we need to plant. We won't be able to harvest the things that we need to harvest. And to start off with, we want to make sure that we're able to do, if you want to do every animal all at the same time, you're going to need to do a whole lot. We're not doing that today. We're just going to be preparing for, there we go, we got our money. Today, we're just going to be preparing for cows and for sheep and in a less specific way, chickens, and then you can kind of do those what you want. I never really recommend starting with pigs right off the bat, though you can get a bunch of them 
The food is extremely expensive and takes a lot of time, especially doing root crops. So let's go over to the store and let's get started on everything. So the store isn't too far away from us. Store is going to be down at the very bottom. Visit. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's back up so all the vehicles have plenty of room to spawn in. And we're going to jump in and pick our first vehicle. I like having vehicles that are all in the same realm. So first off today, I'm going to show you a setup where you can do either a New Holland or a Fent, uh, any kind of uh, Agco style of farm. So we need three different tractors. We need something small and then we need two for medium, one on the smaller side, one on the larger side. Then we need a harvester and a telehandler. That's what we're going to go with first. You don't want anything too big or else it just makes it too easy. So let's jump into small tractors and let's take a look. So we get the Massey Ferguson 5600. If we go in, we see we have 105 horsepower. All the way decked out, it's going to be 130 horsepower. This is less than 150. So this fits the bill perfect. This is one small with a front loader and narrow tires. Can we put narrow tires on here? The answer would be yes and a front loader. Also, yes. So will this work? absolutely this will work another vehicle that i really like using in this uh, realm is the fent 300 so if you go into the fent 300 you've got a color option as well there plus wheel setups we go in narrow tires edge of setup 138 horsepower well below that 150 threshold plus front loader oh man i love this i love this vehicle so so much very very much so so i love it so much um the problem is the other tractor for Fent. Fent's a little tough, plus in telehandlers, if we go over here, there's no Fent telehandler, which makes it a little bit tough to take care of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we are gonna choose a cloth setup. The Arian is perfect. I tell you, the stuff that I've based all of my predictions and stuff like that on for doing these kinds of videos, I always have Kloss in mind the first. I don't know why. They're just absolutely perfect for the game, and I love them, and I don't know how we got this far without using them. So I'm going to go in. Wheel setups. I need narrows all the way around. Agri bumper, no. Design panoramic. You could choose. That's personal preference at that point. Um, horsepower doesn't need to be massive. This is only going to be moving smaller things and spraying. So if you don't need crazy stuff, well, then go for it. You don't really need anything. I'm just going to say yes, let's max that, max that engine out and put a front loader on it. So there we go. We've got that. Now we need a front loader for it. Let's go over here into front loaders. They make one specifically for this, and that's going to be this one, the Kloss FL120C. Let's buy that. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. And then for that one also, we need some type of, do we need a bucket? Or do we need pallet forks? Now with this one, you kind of choose whatever you like. I'm going to go with a pallet fork on this one because we are going to put a bucket on our telehandler. So we've got the cloths. We've got the front loader on it. We're going to move all this over to it and we'll move on. Next, we need our medium tractor. The medium tractor is going to be doing a lot of different jobs. This tractor needs to have at least 170 horsepower. Uh, maybe not too much more than that, but we need to get around 170 to 200 horsepower. The T6 is a really good one. It fits perfect. It's got the job. I don't need narrow tires on this. We just need standard, maybe standard with weights on the back, something like that. Something that it can be versatile. Plus, if it has a front loader, even better because you can put multiple tractors and multiple uh, farms and be fine. I like the T6 I like a lot for that job right there. I also like the John Deere. However, the John Deere just doesn't have the horsepower for me. So, it just doesn't fit that category. Now, any of these are amazing, except they're a little bit powerful. So we do have to keep that in mind as well. They're a little bit much to start with. What I really like, what I really truly like in this price or this range right here is the Arian. We could max it out at 205 horsepower. We could put narrows on here if we really want to. This is just the ultimate tractor right here. It's just so versatile. I really like a normal tire with weights on the back, and you can put a front loader again on it if you don't, if you want to. Um, I'm not going to because we will be using a front loader a little bit later on, but you can a little bit later if you want. So whatever, it's all good. Let's get that. That's going to do lots and lots of different jobs. This may be doing uh, hauling a bell trailer. 
This may be doing a... Well, it's not going to be running a baler. Not on this farm anyway, because our baler is going to be a little bit big. But I think that is going to be a perfect mid-sized tractor for you to use. Now, our large one, that's a little bit different. This is also going to be found in medium tractors. I don't think starting off, unless using like one tractor, I don't think that you need to go anywhere else. Medium tractors are going to have you everything that you need. And for us, as a matter of fact, everything we need is right above. So for something like this, I'm thinking like... 300 horsepower more than 250 horsepower somewhere between 250 and 300 about 100 horsepower more than the second tractor that we purchased so this one i really like this is the perfect tractor for this this range i really like that one the case puma which we've used in previous videos this is great as well 270 horsepower that's awesome the fit is a little bit low on horsepower for this range i think at 240 however there are modded versions with more same thing with the J jcb fast track the six are amazing 250 to 300 horsepower this ranges from 280 to 300 this is again a perfect tractor for this setup since we're going with more of a class setup i think we're gonna go with this guy right here the class axion we're gonna do wide tires and we're gonna max out the engine 295 horsepower that's perfect and the price fairly decent as well two hundred and thirty thousand dollars for that um yeah it's a little bit more expensive than the massey but not too much more expensive so there we go there is our third tractor we don't need any more tractors this is going to be the largest one as a matter of fact even on my personal let's play that i'm doing right now or not personal but the public let's play that i'm doing that is the biggest tractor that we've got right now um well we just bought a new one Rick Island, moving on. We need a telehandler. We need the special vehicle. There's nothing else. Any of these will work well for you since we're going with more of a class setup. Class has everything. So we're going here. Trailer Bork, wide tires. I love it. Looks great. We want it. So I'm going to have it. With that, we need something. We need a bucket. In telehandlers, the standard bucket holds 2,640 liters. Now, that may be enough for you. And if it is, perfect. Get it. However... My belts makes a lightweight bucket, and this is a mod available for all platforms. And this will hold 7,900 liters. This will do a whole lot more. It'll move a whole lot more from point A to point B. We also have the CSN equipment pack, which has other buckets in it as well. You need a bucket that is going to be a uh, like a full bulk bucket. You don't really need to be moving around bells too much with this. We can move around bells with the other thing that we've got. Uh, there are some other things in here as well if you want, but. I say just use whatever, and it's all good to me. We're going to choose the Magsy Shovel right here. This, again, available for all platforms. Uh, you can either choose green, blue, whatever you want. doesn't really matter. And then design. We're going to stick Kloss on it because we can, and that's awesome. So let's get that. Let's purchase it. And we have our telehandler, just like that. Now, you can use the front loader or the front lifter mod with this. You could stick it on the back, and you can have a three-point on here, but there's really no reason to do that. This right here is going to be for moving things around, cleaning animals, that kind of thing, and getting started. So we've got three or four of the five vehicles we're going to start with. What's the other one? The other one is going to be a combine. And you probably can guess we're going to be going with the Kloss Tucano. The reason that we need a combine and not a forge harvester is because you can do the job of animals without using a forge harvester. That's something to work for, but you need some type of combine. I do not like starting with the smaller ones. So the Bison Super, the New Holland TX, or the Rossel Mash Nova. I don't like starting with those. They're just too small. Uh, way too small. But the problem is, on the other side of the spectrum, we only have two medium-sized non-modded combines in the game. We have the Massey Activa and the John Deere T560. Either one of these, perfect. They're awesome. Use them. Go for it. Um, past that point, these are your upgrades. Don't start with those. They're not. You want to be able to upgrade later on down the road. Now, if you want to use something else, for example, we do have Fent in here as well. We have a nice smaller Fent mod, which is the exact same thing as the Massey Activa. We also have the John Deere T560, and we've got a W330 here as well. This one's a little bit small, but it is still nice. Plus, the John Deere CR690, it's a bigger combine, but for New Holland, it still fits that medium size setup. So... If you're wanting to go with something like that, I say definitely go for it. But for us, 
We're just going to be going with the Class Tucano. Holds 11,000 liters. It's absolutely... Again, it's perfect for what we need. I'm not going to complain any about it. There is something to complain about, though. And that is going to be when it comes to headers. Now, I've said before that... See the Class Vario 770? It's great. 7.7 meters. It's awesome. Plus, it locks down to its header trailer. But... If you don't want to buy either one of those, I say do this. Either go with the Corsani right here, or go with the Lizard Draper Stream 900. This is part of a mod pack that came out. This is for all platforms. It's 9 meters, and it has the header trailer built into it. So you can go in here. Main color, if you want to make this like a uh, Kloss one, do main color green. Rim color, you're going to do the Kloss red. And then design color, this is going to be Kloss white. Just like that. Add the Kloss logo to the side of it. Nobody will ever know the difference. There you go. That is your Kloss Combine. Those are all the vehicles that we need. We don't need any more. There's nothing we need. All of these will do everything. I mean, everything that we need to make things happen. These will do it. So let's grab this. Let's fold it up. Let's bring it over here. And we're going to park it up right beside... This is actually one... <laughs> Tell you what, if y'all want to get started, this is one heck of a setup right here for any map. And you're going to do great. But we need to move on because there's other things that we need. Unlike the equipment and tools that we used for doing crops, with this setup, we're going to need, I think, about 12 different things total in order to have just a working farm. And that's kind of, you want that. You want a working farm, but you want to be able to buy stuff after it's all said and done. And we're going to leave room for you to buy stuff when it's all said and done. First things first, we need a tipper. For starting off, we need somewhere around 20 to 30,000 liter tipper. I will tell you, in this section, there's one that I would definitely use because it'll work with a couple of these different trailers, and it's going to be found down here, and it's right here. The Flegel TMK266 Bull. This is great because base, you can get it as 32,000 or capacity. If we increase that by 5,000, you can do 4,000 with extension, or 4,000 overload. I like the 4,000 over or 40,000 overload. That's my favorite. Plus, with this, you can change it up and make it cloth colors if you wish, or if you don't want to, you don't have to. We're not going to today, but you can change up wheels as well. Trailer Borg, you've got standard, you got steering axle. Steering axles are great on vehicles like this, and uh, you got all kinds of stuff. You could change up colors on it. This is a great trailer. It is a tip trailer, so it will tip, but it's 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 just awesome. So, if you're going to get something and need something a little bit bigger to start with, that's a good one. As far as base game trailers, there's really only two that I would even consider. And those are going to be the Joskin Transpace 8000 and the Crampy Bandit 750. The reason you're going to want something a little bit bigger is because later on down the road, you're going to be getting something a little bit bigger. You're going to be getting a Forge Harvester. So, in order for that, you need something just a little bit bigger to be able to, to work with everything. So... We are going to invest in a Crampy Bandit 750 today. That's going to be able to be used with our larger or the medium tractor, the middle tractor that we've got. That's going to work perfect with any of those. Next is your loading wagon. We need some way to pick stuff up. And you need to either have a loading wagon or a baler. I think you need both. That's just me. Call me crazy. I think you need to be able to have loose straw. I think you need to be able to do all kinds of stuff with this. So if you want to do bales, do bales. If you want to do loose stuff, do loose stuff. You could do both even. It doesn't matter. I think through here, the rapid is amazing right there. Now, of course, we do have the cloth. It's a little bit on the pricey side, and there's nothing bigger than it as far as cloth stuff goes. So... That's why I recommend something in this area right here. Something below 40,000. Any of these first three are going to do that job just fine. And really, you've got a 95 horsepower requirement of 23,000, 120 horsepower requirement of 34,000, or 150 horsepower requirement of 35,000. I think this looks the best. Therefore, I would pick this one because I think it looks the best. <laughs> That's really the only reason I would pick it. Again, you're not worrying about money right now. You're just worrying about starting off. And I think both these look great together. Plus, you can use this as a forage trailer if you wanted to way down the line. Now, on the same token of the loading wagon, you can use that to do loose everything and be fine. You can also come over here and get some type of baler. 
I think you should be doing round bales to start with unless you sell it and then buy something else. If you're going to sell and buy something else, get this right here. The Kuhn FPB 3135. This is going to do 4,000 liter round bales and it's going to wrap them and make silage for you so you can feed your cow silage if you really need to. One of the things to consider is in this setup, we will not be doing a food mixer or a straw blower. I'm not considering those completely essential when doing animals. So you can do loose straw and dump it right in. That's what I prefer to do. I hate giving or blowing straw in. You could do that if you want to, but that's going to be what your $100,000 extra at the end is going to be spent on. So again, keep that in mind. Food mixers aren't that expensive, to be fair. Um, straw blowers, again, not that expensive. You're going to be fine. But just keep in mind, those I don't consider them to be um, have-to-haves. I like using the automatic baler right here because if you want to do straw bales, it'll make straw bales and not wrap them. If you want to do hay bales, it'll do hay bales and not wrap them. It will only wrap or grass bales, and that's awesome. So we're going to get ourselves one of those. Next up, after that... We need mowers because how are we going to do grass otherwise? There's a couple different ways you can go with this. You can either go with like a class mower. These things are great, but we're only going to have one tractor that will push any of the balers in here. If you want something smaller, go with like a disc bind or maybe the Kuhn GMD or maybe just a single front mower, something like that. Uh, again, there's tons and tons of options out there. You can go with a Kuhn right here. You go with like a Kuhn front with a butterfly coon out on the very back you could do that and you'll be able to do a little bit bigger i'm gonna say just to start with for this setup i think that our class um, class mowers are just fine it's hard to upgrade really from mowers your only upgrade is going to a self-propelled mower so down the line maybe if there's fall it did good job if you want something else your your only upgrade is going to be the big m450 there's nothing else bigger than it in the game that we've gotten. At least it's official for all platforms. You, goodness gracious, you need to be put back up on your side. Right about there. Yeah. After mowers, we need tedders, wind rowers. We need both of those. So let's go in and let's take a look. What tedder do I think you should get? Well, if you want to upgrade, then get one of these right here. If you're going to get either one, go with the Kuhn GF. Uh, the Vicon's just a little bit too small. And, I mean, even the smallest tractor that you've got will be able to pull the Pottinger without any issues. And the Pottinger will fast farm where these will not. But, to give ourselves room to grow, we're going to go with this one. The Kuhn GF 8712. And then for Windrows, we're going to go with the very first one right here. The Kuhn GA 9531, 30 grand. Boom. Got it. Plus, they both look great together, and they match our baler, which is nice. So, we've got those. Next, we need a water tank. We need something to get water from point A to point B. and go into animals. I think there's only one to get, the, Osqu uh, the Aquatrans right here. If you want something to do water and milk, then go with this one, the Lizard MKS-8. That's going to be perfect for you as well. There are a couple different other options. You've got, like, homemade front IBC tanks. You've got food mixers like that. Well, they don't really do water milk, then, are they? <laughs> we just got something actually yesterday, or a couple days ago. This guy right here, this will hold uh, 13,700 liters. It's a nice one. Um, what's the, actually, how much does the base game one cost? 25,000? That's not terrible. So I would say, you know, to give yourself room to grow, get this. That way you can sell your water, you, or you could take the water, you could sell your milk from your cows, and you're going to be just fine there. So there's that. Now we need some kind of bell trailer. You need a bell trailer to move pallets of seed and fertilizer. You need a bell trailer to pick up bells. Since we're going to be doing round bells, I'm going to recommend exactly the same bell trailer that we used the last time. It's going to be this one right here, the TPW 100 Flegel. This is for round bells. It is an auto load. Do 14 auto loaded round bells. It gives you, again, room to grow. You can customize it however you would like. We're not going to do any customization to it today. Auto load, yes. Attachers, no. You know what? Let's go ahead and do yes and yes. And we'll change the logos to black. Otherwise, it's exactly the way I want it right there. So now we've got a trailer that we can hold all kinds of stuff if we want to come up here and do anything with it. It's great. It's a nice little trailer. I dig that one. After that, 
We're gonna need to plow. Now we can talk about our vehicles and uh, tools and stuff like that. Uh, I only recommend one plow, and that is always, always, always gonna be the Lizard Subsoiler 6M. Uh, we are actually gonna make this one a uh, cloth color. Boom, just like that. How's about that? It's pretty interesting. I do need to move this a little bit because it's gonna be in our way. So we're just gonna take it, do like that. For some reason, when it when it plops down, it takes up a whole lot of space. So we've got that, that's good. Now we need a seeder that does direct drill. Now in seeders, you're not gonna be doing a whole lot of crop work. You're only gonna be planting um, one to two crops per section. Everything else is gonna be grass work. So I would just highly recommend go with the Vaderstad Rapid A600. Uh, you're gonna have two different tractors that can move this versus just the one. Sometimes you may have your other tractor running, running crop or something like that. I say get this right here. If you're running animals, you're going to be fine doing that one right there. It's going to be more than enough. And then you need your fertilizer, spreaders, and seeders. Again, I only recommend one for doing everything. That's going to be the Kuhn Axis 4 2 Plus Pack. Put the extension on it. Change your working width to 24 meters. Purchase it. You are good to go. As far as sprayers, you could do either one of the big ones. The last time we purchased the, uh, the Kuhn. So this time around, we're going to purchase this one right here. This is your Hardy Mega, the 24 meter spread, seven miles per hour, has a capacity of 2,200 liters, main color. You could change this over to uh, anything that you want. As a matter of fact, we are gonna do that right now. There you go, a little bit of cloth. And then you can change this to standard or unload on pallets. This is the Hardy Interactive Sprayers Pack. Um, the great thing is, what in the world? The great thing is with this pack, you can drop it down and if you want to unload it into a tank, you could do that. If you want to unload it into pallets, drop them on the ground. You can. This may seem like a lot of things, but this is actually not too bad. You got your five vehicles and you have all the equipment that you need to get started. However, you've only got the equipment that you need to do uh, bales. So you could do like a round bale, something like that. These are great. This is pretty much just for silage bales. If you're doing, let's say you're starting off with sheep and you want to make enough money in wool to pay for cows. Well, in that case, then I would highly recommend that you get rid of the baler. Get rid of the baler. Don't have it on there at all and say goodbye to it. Now, of course, with all this, now we look up and we see we've still got $726,000. DJ, that's a whole lot of money, and I don't need all that. So what we're going to do is we are going to find something expensive. And the most expensive thing I can find is the John Deere CP690 at $847,000. And we're just going to lease as many of these as we can. I don't even know how much room we're going to have to lease these. But, yeah, we're at less doing so we're just going to keep leasing until it's all gone. All the money's gone, or at least it's down to the point where you want to get it down to. Me, I'm going to get the money down to $100,000. All the leased items have been returned, and we are left with $100,206. We've got our three, or three tractors, our one multi-use vehicle. We have our combine where we could do whatever we want. We could do maybe two crops at a time. Do one crop for your animals. Uh, so like if you need straw, do a straw crop. Uh, otherwise, just use it to make money. If you're doing sheep while you wait, you got mowers, tedders, balers, windrowers, collectors, plows, seeders, sprayers, etc. Everything that you need to get the job done and get the job done right. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Go Ham Fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. If you haven't checked out the first video we did about doing this, but mainly focusing on crops. So we sacrificed a few things, but we gained a few other things. Make sure you check that out. That will be linked in the description below. If you like this video again, make sure you drop a like and let me know what is your favorite starting point? Do you like using three tractors, one combine and one special vehicle? Do you like using one tractor and one combine? Do you like not buying a combine at all? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you're playing on seasons, I say definitely don't get a combine to start with. Just lease it whenever you need it because you're not going to be using it enough. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.